Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by. And I got an exciting, interesting... Uh, we're going to go camping. Been froze over here for several days. The sun has finally come out. I don't have any reservations, but we're going to go explore some local Corps of Engineer campgrounds right down the road. Lake Levon, Levon Lake. I'm taking Trudy Thunder and White Lightning simply because I got to do some running around and it's still supposed to be cold. So I'm not sleep. For those of you who know, I have a tent and a whole truck camping set up. I still think it's too cold for that. Besides, Trudy says she got to go too. So let's get on the road and go to Lake Levon. We have arrived, Lavania Park, Lake Lavon, which is what that is right there. We are in site number one. And for some reason, she was insistent on putting me on this this side of the street rather than putting me over there. I'm here for one night, so I made the most of it. This is an educational moment for y'all. Uh, here is why I carry two sets of leveling blocks, the duallys and the singles. I had to use all of them, except for one on the front. And I'm still a half inch off of this one. leveling blocks don't leave home without them despite being uber on super unlevel site number one is a 30 amp full service full connection site so we have sewer water and power don't want my block case blowing away back on back on the level topic also you'll see that i put i should have doubled my blocks but that front end was sitting so low i was i, I could fit one i don't think i could get a, could have gotten a second one under there people clean up after your dogs that's just disgusting it's all over the place too that's, that's nasty there's, there's poop all over the place Good thing I am not hanging out here very long because I, I don't carry a pooper scooper. Anyway, a concrete table with a metal cover, charcoal cooker, fire ring, and at one time there was a cooking table, cooker table. Speaking of cookers. Got a, I got a heck of a view at this site, though. Be great for a panoramic sweep. I'm going to grab a bite of lunch, and then we'll go see some stuff. Well, I knew it was going to happen when I was looking at Google Earth, Google Satellite. I saw those railroad tracks. I didn't know how busy they were, but I expected this to happen.
Didn't seem to be too loud. I don't think it's going to keep me awake. Although I'm only about 50 yards <laughs> from the track. All right, let's go see some stuff. Lavania Park actually has some pretty decent waterside sites. Although, if you're going to be in this site, what, what is this site? This is number 13. If you're going to use, if you're going to camp in 13, you'll need to block up the rear wheels because it runs toward the lake. Let's go find some more stuff. Lavon Lake is right now the primary water source for uh, Southern Collin County. That includes big cities like Plano and McKinney. It's also, uh, and Wiley, failed to mention Wiley, but, but Lavon Lake is also a really great fishing lake. And you've got plenty of opportunity to launch your boat. But because it's a municipal water lake and Collin County's really got a lot of people, the water level fluctuates dramatically. That's why they're building a second, Collin County is building a second lake. That's way up north though. So anyway, it's your courtesy dock and a boat ramp right down from from my camp all right let's go find some more stuff lavania park on lake lavon actually has a, a fairly decent day use area mind you there's there's not any place to swim but they've got a lot of picnic tables and barbecue cookers so you can come out and at least enjoy the the beauty of the lake so there are only two sh i found showers there are only two showers and they're they're on this dead end loop as you get toward the here i'll put it on the map this, this is where they are right here they're nice you know they're your normal Shower set up for COE. It's actually really clean. All right, let's go find some more stuff. I'm so frustrated. The damn road is closed. See? The damn road is closed. Okay, let's go find something different. Let's, let's go find some stuff. So Livonia Park actually has a second boat ramp it's actually the day use area of the park over there this boat ramp does not have a gate i don't, I don't even see a a pay box it sure doesn't have a courtesy dock that you could use though it is uh defunct But if you want to come out and come over here and hang out at the lake, you don't necessarily have to go into a paid campground. You can just come right here and throw all your litter on the ground because there's no trash cans. That's what you do if there's no trash cans, you know. Just, just throw it all on the ground. It'll, it'll go away. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So we've traveled a little 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 bit down the road. Since there wasn't any stuff to see in Lavania Park, we came over to see uh, the dam. As you can see, there's lots of people that are fishing down here below the dam today. And there is no water coming out.
All right, let's go see some more stuff. So in my quest for stuff to show you, I've journeyed far and wide. Actually about three miles, four miles, about 15 minutes to East Fork Park. Here, I'll, let me show you on the map where we are. All right, so we're in East Fork Park, East Fork Park. Easy for me to say. They have a, have a much better boat ramp than the other ones I've seen here on Lake Levon so far. All right, so we're gonna go see if we can find more stuff here in East Fork Park. East Fork Park, day use area. Isn't that pretty? And then you look over here and you realize there's some problems going on. So the whole retaining wall is just, just gone. There's a nice set of steps so you can get down to the water though. I think this is technically the beach. I don't know. Let's go see what else we can find. East Fork Park actually has, they have two boat ramps. And this one is on a, a sheltered cove. There's a marina right over there as well. Big one, big four laner. And it looks like the courtesy dock is in functional condition. Maybe. Don't hold me to that. Don't make me promise nothing. Maybe it's functional. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Fork Park actually has a group shelter and we can't get in there it's it's locked it's chained up they've got a looks like a newly renovated group shelter and i can actually see rv pedestals so if you're looking for a place to hold some kind of rally or group meetup east fork park might be your answer the swim area's got a little bit to be desired, though. The roads certainly have a lot to be desired. All right, no need to worry about a little red speeding in this park. <laughs> Let's go see some more stuff. So about right now, I am wishing that I had just brought the motor home on over to East Fork Park. These sites are, they're, they're level. It'd be easy to get a level in these. It's not when I had to do that block fest like I did. Now you know, if you're looking for an RV campsite on Lake Levon, uh, I would recommend getting into East Fork Park. All right, let's go see some more stuff. East Fork Park actually has a, a really nice little tent camping loop. It's over by the equestrian campground. That's by the equestrian area. That's where we're headed next. Let's go see some horse stuff. The loop is, it's not one of the best that I've ever seen but it's it's definitely not a it's not a bad deal have water and power at at all the sites paddocks no roof on that one but the other sites each have a a cover over the table then you have the facilities I I don't see any maps posted i think that's what this was at one point but i did see over the the entrance to the equestrian loop there is a sign banner placard that says trinity trail so that may show you the 
the equestrian trails. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Number one, Lavania Park. Really has a fantastic view. Of course, you you saw that in the the time lapse. Man, what a what a beautiful view of the lake. I'm not too excited about having the front wheels 12 inches off the ground, but that's well, not 12 inches, but it. Close enough. Eight inches. I think we've pretty well seen all there is to see in both Livonia and East Fork Park. We'll wait till the morning though. We'll see what happens between now and morning. Good morning. Oh, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Weather forecast that this is the last morning below freezing for a long time. I cannot say how happy I am. <laughs> a beautiful morning here at Lavania Park. Lavon Lake. Except for all the road noise. The train came through this morning about six o'clock and there's no train horn but you could feel it in the ground not not a bad night at all i mean after after about 10 o'clock everything quieted down and i slept like a baby we're done we're done here at lake levon with just a one-nighter so i could come down here and shoot this video for y'all To give you a recap uh, on my thoughts on camping Lavon Lake, I like the scenery. I think the campsites could really use a lot of renovation. I think renovation is in order. It's a Corps of Engineer campground, so you never know what you're going to get. Most of the time, it's you know your your sites are going to be in need of some renovation. If it wasn't for the noise, this would be a great campsite. But because we're in an urban setting, you're going to have the noise. Uh, there's not a whole lot of stuff, especially if you have kids. Of course, kids are resilient. They'll play with a cardboard box. I think it would be well worth a visit. 
it would be a good waypoint. This campground would be fantastic if you're coming into the Dallas area to visit family and you need a place to park your motor home, your RV. Uh, it's convenient to shopping right there in Wiley on 78. There's opportunities for fishing. Kind of tough from the bank in a lot of a lot of the places on in both campgrounds that we visited. Restrooms were clean. Campsites, with the exception of dog poop all around my site, uh, literally. I mean, this is a minefield out here. Whoever was here before, shame on you for not picking up after your dog. That's just common courtesy. Camping Lake Levon, I think it's worthwhile. During the summer, both these campgrounds are probably booked solid because of them being right here in suburbia. But if you can get in, you'll have, especially Lavania Park, you'll have fantastic sunsets. And if, if the sky is clear, you'll have some beautiful sunrises. That brings us to the conclusion of our visit to Lavon Lake. Hey, if you found this to be entertaining, informative, if you liked it in any way, please consider clicking on that thumbs up and sharing me across your social media. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you've not already, I would be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why, I'm, that's why I do what I do. That's why I'm out here this morning. It's for you. Thank you. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back, Maggie here.